here we are out of the Jeep. We're going to go ahead and start with removing the two master cylinder nuts. Ratcheting a wrench will help you out here. Go ahead and take the compressor assembly. Set it in. Sometimes this hose right here needs to be bent in just like that. You're going to go ahead and make sure that there's clearance around the head. You need to move some of this stuff down and out of the way. It's fine to do. And then we'll take a zip tie and zip tie that hose out of the way. Now, we go ahead and route our power wire. We're going to tuck it right along this, uh, over this wire bundle here. You can zip tie that into place, it's a good idea. Then we're going to connect our ground wire to this terminal right here. your compressor's turned off. And then always with the engine running, go ahead and fire it on up. Plug in your coil hose and you're filling tires. That's all there is to it. Later. Okay, if you've chosen to run your air filter in cab, what you're going to do is you're going to assemble your uh, air filter and, and air intake hose uh, using the supplied brass fitting. And then we need to remove this side panel. A good trick to removing this side panel is to push in on this side and then you can get your fingers in there and it's just clips that hold that panel on. Next, we're going to run a, a large Phillips head screwdriver through the foam plug that's right there. Now we've got to run this hose through that plug. This hose doesn't want to stay straight, uh, so it can be kind of fun. What I do is I take a, a thin metal rod, I don't know, that's probably a tenth of an inch thick, and I put it through from the other side. And then that allows me to go ahead and slide the hose 
onto that rod. It allows me to push it all the way through. We're going to go ahead and push that all the way to the end while we wrap the hose into the engine bay. And then we're just going to go ahead and hook the other end of the hose up to the uh, brass fitting that's been installed into the back of the compressor intake. Now once we've got that uh, intake hose installed, we'll go ahead and pull this back tight and then we just push that, that air intake filter. Just fits beautifully right well, above us to running the air intake to uh, inside the cab. Wood's out.